Most of this video is actually going to be dedicated to killing lizard men shamans because in the last video I killed some of them and I was kind of interested in trying it out. So lizard kickers is kind of a weird item but you can actually buy 10 of them from the bar in Shazian and they are actually budget ranging potions. They give 4 plus ranged so I'm going to use those meanwhile killing the shamans. I'm going to try the rune crossbow with broad bolts, but I'm not sure if this is better than an MSB with the rune arrows. We will see, I guess. I'll try both of them and see which one is best, but this is the starting setup I'm going with. And this is why I want to do them. They drop so many alky balls, 25.5k from one of the normal alks and whoops, accidentally <laughs> alked the death rune, but uh, they also drop a lot of runes, so that's a good thing. Oh, that is not the right Warhammer, but 25k Alk, probably going to get baited by a lot of those. Oh, there we go, Serix Talisman, that is a 1 in 250, and I got it very early actually. Very good unlock for teleports on Saya. First, hard clue scroll of the grind. I think these can drop elites as well, but I already have one in the bank, and I don't really feel like doing elites, they're not really worth it, but I will try to do all the hard clues of the video, and I'll open the caskets at the end of the video if I manage to get any. Oh my god, I got so baited. Dragon Medhelm, I mean, it's a 60k Alex, so I can't complain, but I have to say I really thought that was a Dragon Warhammer. It looks so similar on the ground and the same text as well. That is a 1 in 1600 drop. It's not as rare as the uh, Dragon Warhammer, but uh, as you can see on the screen right now, that is a very rare drop to get. Now going to try a while with the Maddox Shortbow. I did about 150 kills with the Rune Crossbow and I feel like the Maddox Shortbow is going to be better. But I'm not sure, just getting the Rune Arrows is a bit more annoying doing LMS than Broad Bolts, but I do think this might be better. Listenmen Shamans have actually zero range defense, so probably having a faster bow is going to be higher DPS. You can see I'm hitting very consistently, so it's probably going to be better with a Magic Short Bow. I just have to go to LMS a bit now and then and get more rune arrows. Another Serix Talisman, and it's actually not bad to get duplicates, because I'm pretty sure you can destroy them and get charges for your other one. So I can dismantle this one, I'll do it in a bit, and I think you get a good amount of charges. Maybe I can do it now when it's jumping. And there we go, I got like 100 teeth, so that is a lot of charges. On my last video I got a comment about when am I going to contribute to the group storage, and uh, I haven't really been able to because the grinds I've been doing haven't really been contributing a lot, but I have still been doing it off video now and then. For example, my winter thought crates, like I gave them all my Raynar seeds so they can give me prayer potions and stuff like that and level herb lore. But now, Dovidas actually needs a lot of money because he's going for 70 smithing, so I'm going to give him 1 million cash. Putting that in there and also I am giving 100 law runes to Dark World Order for the portal room as well as 750 chaos runes and 70 for mithril ore for Max Nick because he wants to exchange it for Tockle for obsidian legs. So when I started doing LMS on this account to get rune arrows, the MSB imbue and all that, I was so, so rusty. I was terrible at the game. I was dying like all the time, not really getting many kills, maybe one per game, which is the first fight. But from doing this a bit more now and then for restocking on rune arrows for alking or for, for example, listed man shamans that I'm doing now, I have actually improved a bit. I mean, I am not nearly as good as the actual good PKers, but uh, I'm putting some clips in the background here, you can see, and uh, I don't know if I put any clips of me LMSing in another video, I think I had one, but in the beginning I was super slow with my switches, but uh, yeah, playing this probably like 50 games now, I've got uh, a bit better, which is actually making it a bit more enjoyable, and I might actually go for a rune pouch in the future, which is 70 points, and now that I have actually a couple of wins I might be able to do it in a reasonable time because if you lose like all the time you barely get any kills it's going to take ages but uh, if you can't win some games or even get like three four kills per game then it shouldn't be that bad and there's another one, Serex Talisman number 3, which is very lucky because it's 1 in 250 and I've done like 300 kills so far, so very lucky on those. Currently on a Winter Todd detour and I am actually very close to 93. I did 92 to 93 and I have all the crates in my bank from that, so we're going to open that after this and uh, this is how I kind of want to do it. Now and then I'll do an entire level at Winter Todd and then open the crates afterwards. And this is how many crates one level basically is, so let's see if we get lucky and get the tome of fire 
And the last two doesn't seem like we're going to get it. No, we do not. This is actually the last lizard man shaman I'm going to kill. It is the number 300th lizard shaman. And it takes a very long time to kill these. I mean, they have 150 HP and uh, they jump around a lot. They have to run around from the minions and all that. But let's have a look at the loot. So this is all the loot that I got. 1.7 million, 300 kills, 3 talismans, which was very lucky. I got 2 hard clue scrolls, but actually both of them I could not do. So that was kind of unfortunate. And we got a lot of alkyballs. I probably made like a million in alkyballs. So that is the main reason why I wanted to do this. As well as a bunch of uh, runes as well. 433 death runes. And actually I got 2 entire range levels. So I am now 73 from 71. So our team is inching a bit closer to actually doing God Wars dungeon bosses as a team. And I have not completed the Edgar's Ruse quest. So that is what I want to do now. That means I have to do Troll Stronghold first. But that should not be too much of a big deal. So let's complete both of those quests. And actually Edgar's Ruse give a lot of Herblore experience. And I want to get to 38. So I can actually make my own prayer potion. So that is going to help a bit with that as well. That is the Troll Stronghold completed. Very random reward. A law talisman, not really sure why that is a reward, but uh, I'll put it in the bank, maybe it's useful for something. So I'm working on Edgar's Ruse now, and after this I am actually planning on doing Shadow of the Storm, which also needs the Golem quest, because after that I get the Dark Light, and I already have the Ancient Shards to make the Arc Light, and I think Max Nick actually got a greater demon task, and it would be pretty nice to try and duo Samurak or even Trio, we will see what we can get together but it would be very fun to try. Let's see how many levels I get from 33 to 37, almost actually 38 herbal. So that is perfect. Like, how much is that? 500 experience of prayer bots. Should be the golem quest completed when I put this key into the clay golem. Also, I guess I have to put this program on. Is there going to be an instant completion? Nope, there is some dialogue. There we go, 1k crafting, 1k thieving, and uh, we should be able to do Shadow of the Storm now and 29 thieving. And that's Shadow of the Storm completed. I'm actually going to put this experience in attack 10,000 because the next goal now, because I can technically get the arc light, is to get 75 attack. Because that is actually how high the requirement for the weapon is. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the Dragon Defender, meanwhile training attack. And uh, when I get the Dragon Defender, I am going to go for 62 Slayer, also training attack. Because I need that to complete the easy combat diary. So I'm... Uh, Basically completing a bunch of things at the same time. Hey, look at that, Dragon Defender. The Defender grind is over. I killed uh, probably like 500 overall Cyclops for this, so not too bad at all. And now it is time for another melee upgrade, which is the Fire Cape. There is nothing that could have been better timing than this. I was going to use the Natus Knot helmet for the fire cape, but it's not really a ranged helmet. And then Max Nick opened a clue scroll the same time I was going to go there, and he got me this and said I could use it. Bandos Coif. So that is going to be a massive upgrade. Also put 10 prey pots in here for me for the fire cape. So let's see the ranged bonus. This is actually 7 ranged bonus better. So that is actually quite massive. The setup I'm going to be using is right here. I have the Shazian boots for some ranged offense, as well as the red dehyde van braces. They are better than the iron gloves that I had, as well as I have a switch to the rune crossbow and crystal shield with broad bolts for when the majors come, because they're a lot more tanky, so the magic shortbow is not that great there. And the diamond bolts enchanted is for when I get to Jad. So I basically have a weapon switch, and I also have bolt switches, and my food is, of course, or spray pots. Oh, I should get a new one. And uh, strawberries. Strawberries heal five each, and there's five in one of these baskets, so it's 25 healing one slot, which is definitely the best I can get currently. Well, I have to say, it is not looking great. Uh, this is my supplies I currently have. I'm on wave 46, and I have been flicking prayers quite a bit. I just have very low prayer, like 49, but uh, hopefully I will be able to make it. I guess we'll see. So last time I think I did Fire Cape was like three years ago on Old School RuneScape, so uh, I am not really doing it this perfectly at all. I only have four strawberries left, 26 HP, and one and a half prayer potion with of course full prayer. I'm on wave 57. It is possible that I do get to Jad, and if I would be an insane player, maybe I would be able to kill Jad, but I guess we'll see. Oh. Uh... Ah. <sighs> That sucks.
Now after that death I made two adjustments. The first one is I'm not going to be bringing an MSB with rune arrows because that is just taking up too much space and I don't think I need it and I think one more basket and one more prayer potion is going to help a lot more. I also got 52 prayer from 49 using some bones and sold heads so that uh, my prayer potions are going to restore a bit more prayer which is going to help a lot. Actually such a lucky last spawn. The uh, Jad boss actually spawns where the orange one spawned so so I will just be able to kill it and then save slot around the uh, Italy rock right here so won't have to fight the boss instantly when it spawns. Yes! Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh my god. Almost two hours to complete that. And of course I get the lag as well. I actually got this lag a couple of times with the Runelight client uh, doing the fire cape which actually drained me some HP and, uh, and prayer. But uh, there we go. Oh, so nice to have this done. I really, really do not like the fire cape. I'm not going to lie, I just don't enjoy it. But there it is, it's done. Look at this absolute unit, my strength bonus is now 98, but I'm still rocking the iron gloves, I haven't really got myself to uh, start working on the recipe for disaster, that will be for the future, but let's get into some slayer, because I want to get closer to that 75 attack, also need 62 slayer for uh, completing the easy combat diaries. You know, I'm one of those guys who just prefer to open my brimstone chest when I go to corner anyways, after each task, got one from that, and we get... Torstall seeds. Is that good? I guess it could be in the future, but uh, Iron Dragons in the Brimhaven dungeon. Yeah, uh, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing any of the dragon tasks. Maybe I should have blocked that. Black Demons in the Catacombs of Current. That is not bad. I think they dropped some rune items that I can alloc. Reddest Cat 2 is online, and that is, of course, the Dark World Order, and uh, he has a black mask that he hasn't imbued yet. And he's not going to do Slayer for a bit, so he actually said I can use that, and with the Dragon Defender, Torso, Fire Cape Strength bonus, and a Black Mask, I should be getting some really good XP rates. Picking up the Black Mask, actually I probably want to take some more Supers as well because I'm running out, but there we go, and uh, Dark World Order is actually working on Prayer Grind right now, 70, before uh, doing Barrels because he wants to uh, complete the Mauritania Diary, so I'm putting these in to help him out a bit, it's really all the heads I still had. Recently hit 73 attack and 56 Slayer, so only two more attack levels until I can use the Arc Light, and I will try to fish for a Greater Demon task, and Max Snake will do the same. When we both get it, or if one of us gets it, or if we just get bored and we can't get one, we'll go and do a Samurai. and what the two items we're looking mostly for is, at that boss, is actually the Staff of the Dead for me, which is one in 512 or 508, not sure, because it is better than the arrow staff for Solra if I do get that Tome of Fire. So that is a nice item for me to get and uh, you do need 75 attack for it anyway so I'm getting that now as well. So it lines up perfectly and uh, for him he needs the Samurai and Spear. I'm not really sure why but uh, he said he needs it so a uh, good reason to do uh, the boss together. But for now I'm going to end the video here. In the next video we are going to 100% do some Samurai. Super stoked about that. Will be very interesting to see if we can get something. Brimstone key. Nice. But um, before I end the video, I just want to say that I actually have a goal to uh, reach 13k subs by the end of this month. So if you guys do enjoy my content and you do want to subscribe to my YouTube, please do that. It means a lot to me. And like the video if you did enjoy it. And until next time, have a good one. Take care.